What's cracking, everybody? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message. I'm y'all. I am silly. I am goofy. If y'all could just hear what was, some of y'all probably can. Stay out of my in minds. You feel me? Stay out of my brains, cause. <laughs> Ah, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Thank you for joining me. It's currently 4.30 p.m. on June 29th, 2024. It's 70 degrees and uh, Fahrenheit and windy as hell. Oh, I get out outside. Yeah, I'm taking care of it, y'all. Just bear with me. Bear with, him. bear with me, dog. I'm sorry. Anyway. Thank you, Most High God, for bringing me here, uh, for allowing me to breathe and be here with the collective, my family. I'm so grateful and so I'm very grateful for y'all. You know, uh, I'll tell you how God works, okay? So, you know, because uh, listen, I'm a real ass, y'all know this, right? And I'm not one of the people that got to walk around saying that all the time because, you know, people that walk around talking about how real they are all the time. They they be phony as hell, okay? But what I'm trying to get at is that you know I, I'm I'm very honest about you know my approach to things. So when I come on and I deliver messages, whether they're motivational or you know good advice or tarot card readings, I'm gonna be honest and tell you that a part of me, and I don't know what it is, uh, really. I, I, I don't know if I consider it being humble. I don't know. I got sad for a quick second. Damn. Uh, but a part of me feels like I can come on this platform and give messages to people. Uh, but a part of me is like the messages that I hear, they're not for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, I don't know it's, if, if it's the world or my experiences that have made me feel like that. Um, you know, it's kind of goes back to like good things can't happen for, you know, good things can happen to everybody else, but good things can't happen for me kind of, kind of energy. Although I know that's not the truth. There's still a part of me there that, you know, feels like can't nobody do that for me. Like I can do it for other people, but can't nobody do that for me, which I know is really kind of goofy and stupid, but I'm just being honest about my thought process sometimes, not all the time, but then I'm always proven wrong. Because I'm telling you how God works. You know, uh, everybody, and I'm going to repeat, everybody that listens to these messages uh, that I deliver anyways, ain't, ain't getting no inheritance. Mm -mm. Everybody, I, and when I deliver these messages, everybody ain't finna get no inheritance. Everybody ain't stealing from your ass. You know, <laughs> everybody's not about to get this brand new opportunity, at least not now anyways. But I'm just saying this, the messages are collective. They're not for everyone. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, a, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm a realist. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of look at things like that. And I, cause like, I know every message that I, that I see online is not for me. You know what I'm saying? But God, God, God gave me, there was a moment today where I was like, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't getting out the house. I'm not doing nothing. And then I heard a, somebody, and I don't like to say all the time who I listen to, because then it, I just really kind of feel like that's bad juju for a lot of times. So I'm just going to say there's somebody that. I, um, you know, that I listened to, uh, that kind of inspired me to get out of the house and I got up and got out the house and I feel so much better. So that's how this works. You know, uh, God does work, uh, for us through other people because we, well, we all got God in us anyway, but when you activate that God energy within you, you can do some wonderful things for people. The smallest, this, a, a, a seven word sentence could inspire somebody to write a 5,000 page novel. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, family. That's why I'm just, I just want to say I'm grateful because God will bring you good people when you start being more of a high vibration. And, it just, and that, that's true. Or maybe when you're in a low vibration, but you have the need and the desire and the drive to be better, God will bring that to you. If you need a therapist, but can't afford one, God will send you a therapist on YouTube, somebody that you can watch that will help you. If you need somebody that can help you, and then you want to learn astrology, put that out into the universe. Got to send you somebody on YouTube because YouTube, although can be very destructive for a lot of different reasons, I feel like it's all about what you choose to tap into. Uh, is very is a very. I, I kind of feel like you know let them let 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 a motherfucker watch YouTube for four years, 
rep, you know, consistently about a very particular subject, they could probably teach teach an entire nation how to do something. You feel me? So thank you, for God, for bringing good people into my world, into my energy, allowing me to be a, a, a teacher as well as a student. Um and just allowing just giving giving us this safe space to create content put put messages out there that are inspiring people that are helping people make people laugh make people cry get people mad however this works okay so thank you uh now if you go over to like my tiktoks which i i, I i'm thinking about maybe getting a little bit back more getting a little bit more back into tiktok because it's been a while uh, you know the messages are shorter uh, which 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 isn't bad, but you know I'm used to being able to kind of do this, you know, here. But a lot of my messages on um, a lot of my messages on TikTok are a mixture of like motivational messages and um, tarot card readings. I'm gonna I'm I'm thinking about it. it's just you know there's a lot there's a lot going on with TikTok and Insta. It just seems like it's just. It's way too easy for people to kind of seem like they can get into your accounts. They can they can impersonate you. It's a lot easier over there. So I just don't really kind of have time for all that. I just I don't. I really don't. OK, I'm too old for that. <laughs> like my spirit. I'm like, I'm telling you, I'm got to be like three thousand, five thousand years old, somewhere between there spiritually. I just ain't got time for it. Not at all. OK. But anyway, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you. Happy Pride again. I did, you know, walk through downtown Minneapolis. So I, you know, uh, there was a part of me that was like, ooh, go down the street. And I was like, no, uh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Because uh, I got, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of energy out there. Because I just really kind of feel like, you know, it's, it's the devil's, it's part of the, the, the devil energy in this world's plan to make you, you know, the devil kind of backs up a little bit stays out of people's ears because the devil wants you to feel like he's gone the devil wants you to feel like there's no there he's no longer a threat to you or that he can't be a threat let me say that there's something there's something very kind of very peaceful about quiet you know peace and serenity but the, if, if you've been where i've been and, and i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all can uh a lot of y'all can vibe with this Excuse me. There's something spiritual burp. Or, well, actually, a Stella Artois burp, but whatever. Uh, a lot of y'all can understand that this, the lull, like the, the quiet, the peace, the calm is generally there before the storm. <laughs> and so I feel like the devil, uh, the devil energy in this world uh, really wanted me to kind of be like, Oh, everything is fine now. Let me go outside and be around a whole bunch of crazy ass people or, or, or bump into people that I used to know and, you know, have these conversations and exchange energy just to kind of get me trapped again in a really bad cycle. I don't want to go back into. So you could be today picking up on some energy, especially with the whole pride thing going on, because, you know, I'm a part of the LGBTQIA community, you know, by proxy of, you know, um, my sexual preference. <laughs> I don't even understand what the fuck that means anymore, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I support the community because that's just what I choose to do. You know, uh, hey, it is what it ain't. No matter no matter how 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 how, how little gay you are, or how big gay you are. I'm just saying, we gotta support people. People are good people no matter what, you know, their sexual preferences are, the religious beliefs, spiritual beliefs, job titles, how much money they make, where they live. We got to support people no matter what. What people decide to do in their bedrooms or whatever their person's sexual identity is or sexual preference really ain't none of our business to criticize or judge, okay? So happy pride, you sons of bitches, okay? Let's get some energy out here. So yeah, you might be feeling a little kind of uh, tempted to uh, get, get back around some people that um that you used to know well i'm here to tell you that if you used to know them keep it that way okay there's a reason why you used to know people now some people you used to know they might you know make a reappearance into your life well when i say used to know i'm talking about like uh yeah i used I, yeah i used to know them as opposed to wait i knew them a while ago but i haven't seen them in a while there's a big difference confirmation i'm talking about people that you used to know that you don't need to know no more or don't want to know anymore. Or you know, you feel like you don't need to know these people anymore. You feel me? I can't make it up reunion. 
I'm telling you. Bam, what was I just talking about? Reunion. Let's see. Who wants to come back towards you? Yikes. Somebody coming back from the dead. Something you thought was dead. Or somebody you thought was dead. Or you th or something that you... Let me take these glasses off. Okay. <laughs> Ah, some, you're about to come back into union with either somebody you, somebody you thought was dead or it could be somebody that's passed on. This could be an ancestor message, but I don't think so. I feel like this is more of you're about to come back into union with union with someone whom you whom with the situation you thought was dead. Let's see what we're talking about here, okay? Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know where all my uploads upload. You feel me? Uh, Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so that I give a clear, concise message to the collective. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tickled by this. Because I was just talking about people coming back. Your, I don't know. You know how we do around here. Somebody psychic in them. Okay. Let's see. One more. Hey. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to make you very happy. Melancholy in the reverse. We want to get a couple more out here? Okay, sure. Ooh, a lover. I'm telling you. <laughs> and it's, look it, okay, listen. So after some type of catastrophe or something, uh, misfortune in the reverse. This is about to be a very good thing for you. Then we also have cheerfulness at the top of the deck as well. Whew. This could be somebody very high vibrational with priest here. Somebody very uh, spiritual, holy, religious. Y'all could be getting married. Somebody could be coming in to get married. You could be a young woman. They could be a young woman. I don't know. Somebody could be younger than you. Let's see what's going on here. We got the tower in the reverse to the seven of swords, okay? We got the ace of pentacles, whoa. See, listen, man, let's just see what else comes out. Cause see, I, I was happy for a minute for y'all. The knight of pentacles. Okay, so this could be two. <laughs> this could be two different energies. I don't know. I feel like somebody's coming. Out. I, look, I tried it. I tried. I tried. Damn. Ain't nothing wrong with a little brewski. You feel me? So don't even go there. Yeah, this is somebody coming back into your life. The tower in the reverse. Oh, my God. So the tower in the reverse can it can represent a lot of things. So lately what we've been seeing is that uh, what I've been seeing in my readings is that the tower in the reverse can can talk about someone. Um, someone. What's up, baby? Someone. Someone trying to avoid a tower from falling. But no. This person that's coming back into your life is ain't got a damn thing. I feel like they've been put out. I feel like they've been put out of where they live. Okay, or they don't have anything. Or they're trying to rebuild. 
some type of destruction came. Okay? We got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This person broke as fuck. Knight of Pentacles here. Slow but steady wins the race in the reverse. This is somebody not very loyal, not very dedicated, not in it to win it. This is also a breadcrumbing energy. This person also has a Seven of Swords here, which means that they coming in sneaky. You feel me? I'm disgusted. King of Pentacles, they did the reverse. They just, there's, this is somebody very money hungry and just, just a scab. You heard that scream? Okay. Okay. And they're a karmic emperor. <sighs> so you could be this young woman who might be very happy to see this person. Somebody, I told you something that you thought was dead or somebody you thought was dead or somebody you have, something that you may have put to rest a while ago is coming back, a resurrection. Okay. You must be coming into something really good here. Let's see what these. Let's look at these cards again. I don't. I don't know. I feel like whoever you are, you're gonna be happy about seeing this person. Mm -hmm. This person gonna come and serenade you with them uh, tight ass uh, spandex and <laughs> uh, camo mules they got on or whatever the hell that is. Okay, some wedges or some shit. Yeah, misfortune, cheerfulness. I feel like with this energy, somebody's, I don't know. Let's see. Let's just pick it up because I feel like you're going to be very happy. Okay. So with the misfortune in the reverse, whatever happened between you two, I don't feel like was bad. I just really kind of feel like, you know, it wasn't for you and I'm still kind of picking up and listen, do what you want to do, but I'm telling you now, I don't think it's for you, period. A high priestess in the reverse. Oh, let's see. There's something that you are not. Clarify the high priest. That's Aquarius. Somebody could be in it. This person could be an Aquarius. The moon. Okay. There's a secret that this person's not telling you. There's something that you. There's something that you don't know. See, the high priestess in the reverse can be kind of tricky. The high priestess in the reverse can mean secrets are coming out, but it can also mean that you're not paying attention to your intuition. Uh, there is some, there are some signs. Uh, why do I feel like, why do I feel like you've already, why do I feel like this person's already made it back to you? Yeah, there's something, there's, this this, you, this person has already made contact. This, this, this res, I hate to do, I got to deliver. Yep. Got to deliver the message. Tapping in, baby. I got God bumps. So I feel like this person and you have already made contact. This person could really be asking you, you could be engaged to this person or getting married to this person or made some type of high level commitment or this person could be very spiritual or say that they're very spiritual because what well, somebody could be very spiritual, but in a low vibrational way. We got to keep that in mind just because a person says I'm spiritual or I'm chosen. Yeah, they could be spiritual for him downstairs. They could be chosen by him downstairs, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, when somebody says that they're chosen, believe them. Who they who chose them? That's a big, that's a bit different. <laughs> okay. That's a big difference. You know, you know, you got to pay attention to Yeah. Yep. The Empress in the reverse. There's a secret about a woman. We got the Emperor and the Empress in the reverse. This person's still married. I feel like this person is still married. Is that what I'm hearing? Clarify the Empress in the reverse. The Two of Wands in the reverse. Clarify the Two of Wands, please. Two of Wands in the reverse. Four of Cups. This person is still married to this person. They can't. They, they. The Two of Wands talks about making plans. This person. This person is not planning on leaving this wife alone or this woman alone. But I'm picking up on the fact this person is married to this Empress in the reverse. He was. Yeah. Well, Oh we I just heard something. Ten of Swords. It ain't over. It's it's in the reverse. It's not over between these people. I feel like they're on a they're on a um Somebody plays the drums. 
somebody plays the drums or some type of instrument uh like for a band i feel like somebody ten of cups yeah i'm telling you they're, they're ten of cups the ten of, the ten of swords in the reverse the ten of cups in the reverse this person is not ending this family with this person they're still married to a very toxic feminine energy as well i feel like they're on a break cups i'll tell you they're not happy it's a very it's a this is not this person's wish fulfillment i cannot make it up we got 10 10 10 out here all these tens it's kind of like on again off again this person's off with this person right now and it's because they're broke it's because they're broke it's because the ten of pentacles in the reverse they don't they don't have anything with this person they don't have anything uh, they're stuck with I, I just heard they're stuck with this person one more ten of pentacles please it's kind of like on again off again make up to break up yeah the fool in the reverse uh, this person is not walking away from this person the, the fool talks about ha taking a leap of faith this person does not have any faith this person's not leaving this person. This person's not going to take this leap of faith. Yeah, two of swords. This person, this is something that you don't know, especially with the high priestess here. But I really kind of feel like this person is stuck with this person, okay? Knight of Pentacles, please. Knight of Pentacles. Thank you, Holy Spirit, to justice. To the four of pentacles. Uh, this person, uh, t this person is bound to this person by something. They're married. <laughs> the the justice card to the four of pentacles. This talks a lot about being uh, restricted by something legal. Tell tell us what this person is restricted. Thank you, Holy Spirit. To this Queen of Cups, baby mama. This person got all kind of. And remind you, this person is in the reverse. This feminine energy is in the reverse. This bitch is crazy, is what I just heard. You don't want to deal with this person. You probably, I, th I feel like this person. So. Queen of Cups. 2244 when I look down. I, what did I say? This person is crazy. Temperance in the reverse. This person could be a Sagittarius. This this female. This this wife. Or she. Cra this person is crazy. Something is off with this person. This person is on demon time. Okay. Listen. Toxic lovers. I'm telling you, this person, King of Cups, the, the King and Queen of Cups, coming out together. This is a very toxic. This this person is in a in a very toxic flame connection. That's why this person can't. That's why nothing's coming in for this person. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. That's why this person can't have anything. But they're not gonna leave this person. This is like some. This is like some. Um, why is this person? I'm starting to get irritated. Why is this person? No, I'm not going to use those. Why is this person not leaving this person? <laughs> Why are they stuck with this person? Probably got something to do with some kids or something. I don't know. They're... Why is this person? Spirit, please tell me why this person is with this person. Somebody plays in a band, though. Something that requires, whatever this person does for work, it requires them to travel. Okay? Like with a trailer. So it has something to do with a trailer. It could have something to do with animals, horses, a motherfucking circus. I don't know. People do jo still join the circus people. Okay? I met a few people over the years that were traveling with a circus. Okay? But it's something about a trailer. The only thing I can think of is like a concert. Something about a concert. Maybe you met this person at a concert. Maybe you two are going to a concert. Confirmation, you two could be going. Okay, maybe you two are going out to a concert. Maybe this person, maybe you're going to see this person playing a band at a concert. I don't know. Why is this person still with this uh, interest in the reverse? Ten of Wands. All these tens. This is some. 
Listen, Ten of Wands in the reverse. Clarify the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Spirit might be telling you, you might need to, this might be your advice. And maybe it ain't my business. I mean, I don't know. I don't really feel like this is for him. I really feel like this is for you. And you know, there's rules about tapping into people's energy. So I really kind of feel like it ain't my business why he's still with this lady. It ain't none of your business either. Because he's still married to this lady. You know, I mean, do what you want to do. We all grown and shit. But I'm just telling you, you know, coming from where I've been, um, you don't want to deal with nobody that's married because then it's like you're, you're, it's wrong. You're taking karma. And how you get them is how you lose them. Niece or nephew. Okay. The world in the reverse. Mm -mm. Page of cups, page offer. Exactly. So it's kind of like spirit is telling you that you need to close this cycle out. Like it's not even close this cycle. I know the world came out in the reverse because it's not closed. I feel like <sighs> confirmation. I really feel like this person has already contacted you, especially with the page of cups here. Page offer. Something about... Uh, a post office, a, like a postal carrier, you could be, I don't know, something about mail. Somebody's name could be mail. The Knight of Cups. Exactly. This person is very, this person doesn't mean anything. I hate to tell you this, but this person doesn't, it's, you're being finessed. You're being played. This person is Sante Morte, okay? The, 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 the saint of death, okay? It's right there, the title card. You need to end this, okay? The Ten of Wands, is, is that's what the advice drop this drop the baggage drop the burdens okay damn i thought we i thought i thought we were gonna come in here and what in the are you doing kitten they like to play in the litter box that's i've seen it online it's, to me it's just weird king of swords i'm telling you this person is a liar is a narc this person is a narc You gotta pay attention to them Easter eggs. Okay, all these clues and signs. One more. One more. What's the world in the reverse? To the Nine of Cups. You really do feel like, okay, you really feel like this person is your wish fulfillment. That's why you don't wanna close the cycle out. This person has made you feel like they're, they're like this is their wish fulfillment and that you should this part i'm telling you this is your energy you don't want to end the cycle with this person what do i i've, I've been seeing stuff all day over the last two days okay you want to move forward with this person you really feel like this person is your wish fulfillment Okay, I'm telling you that I can't tell you uh, I can't tell you that, you know, if this is what you want There's a monitoring spirit in here A net Yeah, two of cups in the reverse It's not, it's not what you think It's not what you think Whoever, whoever this is for, it's not what you think Three of swords you're in a third party situation ship. You may not, I don't feel like you know this. I'm going to get some initials out here because I feel like this is as far as any spirit says that's the truth, queen of swords. This is truth and clarity for you here. Yeah, four of wands in the reverse. This is not something stable. This is not a, a solid foundation. This is not something to even be celebrating. This is what spirit is saying. It all depends on how you like it, okay? You're vulnerable to this person. Nine of wands in the reverse. This person's going to hurt you. Yeah, this person is going to hurt you. Then you're going to be all trapped in your head, okay? Person got a baby on the way too. So what a fortune in the reverse. This person has a baby on the way. Pages, the page of wands to the eight of swords. This person has got another baby on the way. That's what I just heard when I looked at that. When I saw the cards, yep. Because this person is sweet, willy, okay? Who makes impulsive actions, who, who, who acts off of his male organs, okay? This person thinks with a little head instead of their big head, okay? All the time and got a number of different listen confirmation the eight of wands 
this person is a whore, a male whore. Okay, you can be a male, you can be a female watching this, but you know who I'm talking about, okay? And this person is very low vibing, even though they come off very high vibing, okay? This person probably comes off very kind of like they're spiritual. I just heard Vegas. I just heard Vegas. I just heard Vegas. I just heard Vegas. Uh, this person is very low vibrational. This person comes off very high vibing, but they're very low vibrational and they're married and they got a baby on the way. And they got other people. This person trap, whatever this person does, they travel. Okay, let's get some black card energy and then I'll get some initials and then we're going to close it out. Uh, sidebar uh, I need like a scientist or somebody okay I need somebody who's like a genius like who knows every, like a lot of things please explain to me why is it that when people do things to people or they get caught doing something bad to somebody and they end up like getting locked up why do they come after the person they were trying to do something to still like they get mad at you you know what I'm saying because they were trying to do something to you they 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 it, they they literally gather up a bunch of people to come towards you because they tried to do you something that's stupid huh. Somebody could be a barber or a cosmetologist. Somebody's an influencer. Somebody's an influencer. And something about a landlord. Somebody could own property. Okay. Third party situationships. Hurtred. I told you. Third party situationships. This person, um, as far as being a, this person could cut hair or be a cosmetologist. I don't know. I don't want to do it, Spirit. Spirit said, "Clarify, influencer." We're gonna clarify, 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 influencer. Clarify, influencer for me, Spirit. We're gonna be using the somebody, somebody's oracle cards. How many cards? We're gonna do three. Tell me about this influencer, fiber cosmetologist, influencer, landlord. I feel like this person is very active on like Instagram. Somebody's a pick me bitch. Okay. Oh yeah, I just heard something. I'm sorry. I just heard this person views you as a pick me bitch. Somebody got some funky ass breath, and I don't think it's you, collective. Okay. I don't think it's you. I think it's this person. As much, uh, listen, as many as many pieces as they got, I'm pretty sure they breath smell like some Badusi or some, <laughs> just her cock. <laughs> Yikes. Somebody's a fucking narc. I, we got three cards and somebody's a sociopath. This person is a whole, a whole narc. A whole narc, G. The letter A could be very significant. Spirit wants me to clarify this landlord energy. We're going to get the, use the cards that hit. Because I feel like this person ain't got nowhere to live or something. Those two cards popped out. What is this? What is this shit, man? That's the two of swords in the reverse to the seven of swords in the reverse. Clarify the seven of swords, the two of swords. The seven of swords, I said, but that person, this person's a liar. This person's very slick. There's some lie that... Clarify this energy for me, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person lives with somebody. 
already. This person owns like has a whole place with somebody. Two the two of, the two of cups here. Yeah, and they got put out bad karma there. There's a whole bunch of bad. This person doesn't want to be. I'm telling you, this person doesn't want to be at home. They just don't want to. I'm what did I say? The ten of cups in the reverse. This is as much I'm digging more into. I'm not digging no more into this person. But I feel like this person already. This I feel like this person. This is gonna sound really weird. It's like this person. What this person is a musician or something. They tour. They do something with some trailers. Papa was a Rolling Stone is what I just heard. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. This person has a number of different places that they live. So this person may do a lot of business in your area or may come to your area a lot. Maybe this is the reason why this person wants to reconnect with you because this person knows how you feel about them. This person really feels like you a pick me bitch. Like they feel like you a lame. I don't really feel like you a lame. I really feel like this person's a, a fucking loser. You feel me? The letter A could be very significant. I'll keep it out because it was at the bottom of the deck. The letter Z could be very significant, okay? Arizona. So the R came out. Arizona. The name Raz could be very significant. That has something to do with something, okay? <laughs> Arkansas, Arizona, Raspberry. Something could be very significant about that. Czar. That's South African currency, isn't it? South Africa could be very significant. This person could be South African or have some type of South African roots. The name Trevor could be very significant. O. Rose. The name Rose could be very significant. B. Boaz. Boaz and Joaquin. Those are the pillars, the name of the pillars of Solomon's tomb. Uh, Boaz is the, was Ruth's husband, wasn't he? Alexa, who is Boaz? Boaz is a biblical figure appearing in the book of Ruth in the Hebrew Bible and in the genealogies of Jesus in the New Testament and also the name of a pillar in the portico of the historic temple in Jerusalem. Thank you. My pleasure. Just doing my job. So that could be very significant to you. What's the story of Boaz? Alexa, what's the story of Boaz? Boaz is a character in the Bible who is mentioned in the book of Ruth. He is a relative of Naomi, Ruth's mother-in-law, and is credited with taking pity on Ruth and allowing her to glean in his field. Ultimately, Ruth and Boaz marry and have a son, Obed, who is the grandfather of King David. The story of Ruth and Boaz is one of compassion and kindness, and their marriage serves as a model for the love and unity between David and his people. And thank you. Good evening, Dwayne. Anytime. Literally. I'm going to just tell you this. I know what she just said, but it's kind of, you heard what she said about letting Ruth bask in his glory, so to speak. I really kind of feel like this person is going to come like they're doing you a favor. And I really kind of feel like you might feel like this person is doing you a favor as well. Maybe that's why they kind of feel like you a pick me bitch kind of, so to speak. I, uh, excuse me. Spiritual burp. That's confirmation. I really feel like uh, whoever you are, uh, you do better. Q. The name Q could be very significant, okay? And then E. Uh, why would you do that? I get it. 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 It's time to end up. Is it time to end the reading? All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Trip said it's time to end the reading. <laughs> Let me get you a Rebel Oracle card and then we're going to end it there. Yep. Okay. Well, then there we go. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are bullshit. Forgive. Let that shit go. Okay. Somebody's lying to you. It will lie to your face. I'm telling you, this person's a liar. 
Somebody can drive a white Dodge. You're giving, you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. What did I just, man, come on now. Somebody tapped in today, G. Did this nigga catch an Uber to your house? You are being shady. Somebody being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. With this wife, I'm trying to tell you, they broke your heart. They will break your heart. This person could have possibly broken your heart in the past. Fuck them. Okay? I mean it. That's the end of this. That's the end of this. That's the end of this message. I'm just telling you what I heard. Okay? Now, all this all this energy out here, you somebody wants a sign. Let's see if we get a sign out here. Okay? Because I guess, I guess, you know, a lot of times, too, what people got to understand is that, okay, so people listen to messages and they go, that's, it sounds like they're talking about me, but I need something more. <laughs> I've been there. All right, so let me get you a sign out here. A lunar eclipse is at the bottom of the deck. You need to eclipse this person out of your life, G. Okay, I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up. 5-11 on the clock. Somebody's birthday could be May 11th. I just heard. <laughs> you need you need you need a little bit more confirmation, don't you? Okay. The waxing crescent moon? I don't know. Virgo and Cancer. Your sixth house. Let's look up what sixth house is. And let's look up the wank the waxing crescent moon. Alright, let's do this. And then I'm done for the evening, I believe. I don't know. Let's see. The moon is beginning to show herself, and beneath the surface, the roots of the seeds you were planted are beginning to weave and strengthen the soil. Growth can be broken up into two parts, obstacles, which are negative patterns from the past, and actions, which are, um, which are changes made to achieve alignment. What's up, baby girl? This is the girl. No, it's a boy. 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 Uh... What this means is that what this means is that focusing your energy toward what you want to accomplish is a form of self-care. Just to resist the urge to overwater your garden as you don't want to end up with root rot. Okay? It, overwatering your garden to what so what am I hearing? This person, it's kind of like you you have this feeling, I'm telling you, of elation like you feel like okay, like I'm really happy this person is back. This is gonna be good for me. It's really not. You're gonna. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a lot of love bombing. It's gonna be a lot of things you don't need, and you're gonna end up with root rot, which would be like soul rot. Okay. So let's look up the sixth house. The realm of health and habits. I can't make this up. Virgo, Mercury is the ruler. Virgo is the is the sign. It rules rules the sixth house, which came out Virgo. So you could be a Virgo. Um, planet is Mercury. Earth, it's an Earth element. The type of house is work. So it says, habits, hobbies, and health is the ideal way to sum up the sixth house. Ruled by Mercury in the home to Virgo. This house is where you come up with your to-do list, your workout routine, and how you decide to or your method of transportation when you head off to work. Being one with the house, being one with the workhouse, uh, being one of the workhouses. This house is, is a challenging area, even if it contains traditionally positive planets. People with a heavy sixth house natal chart can be more prone to restrictive eating habits and obsessive behaviors. But given this determined nature of this house, these energies can easily be channeled into healthier patterns. Planets transitioning through the sixth house can bring disruptions at work or a change in health and allow you to reevaluate your routines to be more productive. OK, so sixth house is about the realm of health and habits. And if it appears in a reading, while the fifth house is about all about fun, the sixth house, the sixth house card is a sign that it's time to get back to work, putting off completing your to do list. 
just results in a longer list. It's better to get ahead of yourself so you don't overwhelm yourself later. Look for ways to streamline or switch up your routine to stop things from getting too stale. The sixth house can also mean that something is going on with your health. If you have been neglecting your body, now is the time to reconnect with it. Whether it is changing your way of eating or trying different exercises, this card is the boost of your confidence you need. Now, keywords, disorders, work, the grind, list, change, confidence, confirmation. So, with all that being said, focus on your damn self, okay? Don't be worried about no sorry ass nigga coming back around that wants to be all up in your face. I mean, yeah, they come off very high vibrational, but they're really a scab. It could be a cancer too, so they all in there. They, it's kind of like I'm hearing some. I'm seeing with this card, somebody coming along does a lot of crying and shit. He's very like sensitive, but it's it's all kind of like narc shit. They don't mean it. Sociopath. The card said so. Okay. That's the end of this message. Forty-five. Forty. Iowa could be very significant. Somebody could be age forty-five. Okay. Somebody's birthday could be no Virgo, Cancer. Okay. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. But that's the end of this message. Closing out the reading. Before I close out the reading, so yeah, it's it's a monitoring spirit because I don't have. There's nothing in this house that would have gnats that that gnat should be attracted to. Okay, so I got to get rid of that. I got some apple cider vinegar. I get rid of it. I don't know if people know that or not, but if you do have an issue with like gnats in your house. Get you a small, uh, shallow bowl with some uh, apple cider vinegar in it. Poke some, put some plastic wrap on top. Poke some holes in it, and they go in there, and then they die. Or you can use foil, or you could just leave it open too. But it traps them in there when you just poke the little tiny holes in there. A little uncle advice for you. Somebody also needs. I just heard. <laughs> somebody also needs to go get their brake their brakes checked. Something's wrong with your brakes. It's like grinding. You know how your brakes can wear down and then you got to buy new pads and all that. It's time to get your brakes checked for what I just heard. I'm not a mechanic, okay? I'm just a psychic. <laughs> I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a psychic. But that's the end of this message, y'all. Thank you all for giving me the good vibes um, and the good, the good community time. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. But I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their evening. I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their day, wherever you are in this world. Um, but thank you for joining me. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. So I was loving light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.